Merrick Stark joined by our uh, LL League insider, Ed Groover. Week two of the LL League football is upon us. And Ed, what stands out? What surprises from week one? Uh, two things, Eric. Um, first of all, Lancaster Catholic losing the way they did. Not so much yeah. that they lost. I knew it would be a tough game with Dallas Town. Right. Uh, Coach Bruce Harbach had talked about how you know big Dallas Town is and the, cat, the fact that Catholic is, is still a young football team. Um, but the way they lost, you know, mm -hmm. they, they pretty much got handled on both sides of the ball. That surprised um, me, yeah. The other thing that surprised me, and you would know more about this because you were at the game, the CV effort to score. <laughs> Again, not so much the CV won, but any time the score is 70 to nothing, that's got to be surprising. 70 to nothing, but 63 to nothing at halftime. Right. And it felt like a, a playing John Madden or something. It was it was just back. CV was scoring so fast. Uh, Joe Lopez, bigger uh, running back. Uh, remind me of somebody you'd see at Central. He was mm -hmm. bulldozing his way through. And it's it's week one, Ed, and guy, the tackling's not as good week one. And CV did a good job of running through the contact. And I think they got some extra yards there. But they hit the wings. Lopez had two touchdowns. Tyler Humphreyville had one. I think he had another one called back. And uh, the other guy, Parker, had three touchdowns in the game. He's more of a receiver, but uh, very athletic there. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, CV looks better. I think last year, week one, they lost to Cedar Cliff by a similar score. This week they look better, but but effort is, is a long way off. They're very young this year, and, and that really showed in this game. Uh, Performance-wise, anybody stand out for you? Yeah, uh, two of the kids from Mannheim Central, uh, first-year starters, the two running backs, Damon Camacho, Tyler Martin, uh, combined uh, over 300 yards rushing and five touchdowns. That's impressive. It is impressive. And this week, you know, uh, they have the game of the week uh, at Hemfield. And I saw him field last week at LS. Uh, very good defense. They mm -hmm. forced four turnovers. Uh, three of those turnovers led to 21 points wow. in a close win. And they got the big sack uh, at the end of the game, um, uh, taking down uh, Bearshank uh, mm -hmm. at the 11 with uh, just seconds remaining to, uh, to uh, preserve that victory. You mentioned that game. You thought the linebackers are going to be key. The mm -hmm. linebackers show well for him field. Yep. They, they blitzed heavily. Um, I thought uh, Shank did a good job escaping their blitzes mm -hmm. at times, but they, they did put a lot of pressure on them. And again, they had uh, two sacks and numerous uh, numerous uh, forced passes. Performance-wise, three three new coaches in the LL League, three and zero for the first week. Peckway Valley, Salanco, and Cedar Crest. That's impressive as well. Yep, all three: Rob Wilderson, uh, Cedar Crest, Mike Choi at Peckway Valley, and Tony Cox at Salanco all got victories in their debuts. You know, I. I Lebanon Cedar Crest, Cedar Crest scoring 38 points against Lebanon. Lebanon had a lot of guys back. They scored 24. I, I knew they had a new quarterback for Lebanon, but right. I thought it might be a closer game there. Um, and and I, that one did surprise me a little bit. Peckway Valley, you know, I'm glad to see them get a win. That, that, that's a good start. They started off strong last year, and it faded. Let's see if they can keep it going. Solanco 1-0, CV 1-0. Mm -hmm. They're the, your other game of the week right. that we're going to talk about right. here. Let's get into the segment. We'll start off with CV, Solanco. What stands out for this matchup? They haven't been good. Mike Shepos, I think, was the running back in Slanko in the early uh, early 90s when the last time these guys really were, 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 were competitive with CV. So it should be an interesting matchup at Coryville. Yes, and I think it's going to be, uh, obviously we're not expecting another 70-point output mm -hmm. by CV, so kind of a litmus test, for I think, for both teams. You know, um, teams always want to improve from week one to week two, yep. and uh, CV can still improve. They're not going to score 70 points again, but I'm sure that uh, – uh, they're going to see some improvement in, like you said, some of the tackling, offensive line, defensive line, and same for Solanco. The key, both these teams were not very good last year. This is, one of these teams has a chance to get off to 2-0. This mm -hmm. is a big game for them. The other big game, Hemfield playing Central, that's going to, that stadium is going to be packed. That's going to yep. be a fun atmosphere. Yep. Uh, what are you looking for there? you got the Hemfield defense versus those running backs you just mentioned. Yep. Who's going to win? And that's, that's the thing. <laughs> um, yeah, Hemfield's <laughs> defense, I think, versus Central's offense is the key matchup. You know, um, uh, the two running backs that I mentioned both had big weeks last week. You know, how they do against Hemfield's defense this week will be, you know, a good test for them. And for Central's uh, offensive line, which is, which is pretty good as well. Who are you picking there? Um, I'm going to lean towards Central. 